My name is Skylar Accord. I play bass and I'm out on tour with 21 Pilots right now. We're in Portland and I'm just here to talk a little bit about my signature Spectre, which I'm a big fan of. Um, obviously the biggest thing you're going to notice at first is the color. Purple and green's kind of just always been my thing. The sound of this thing is monstrous. Uh, I've always liked Spectres. I got into them via like Alex Webster and like death metal and stuff and I kind of had the feeling like if you can cut through uh, really thick walls of distortion like guitars and stuff, it can kind of work in any room. And um, the best thing about this bass on this tour is before I'm used to playing clubs with my other band Issues, um, which like definitely like wall of guitars, cutting through is awesome. But in a room like this, I play one note, it lasts like seven seconds. So any sort of definition I can get, the better. Um, and especially in like arenas and stuff, I'm getting my money's worth. Like this is like so, so perfect for this environment, for this gig, for like the size of rooms and how much is going on, you're always hearing me, it's crazy. Um, as far as specs go, so I was really particular um, on a few things. One thing is like, like I mentioned, the Alex Webster signature, um, it had a thinner neck profile. So that's what's on this bass. It's a little bit thinner so I can kind of shred a little bit more. Um, and then the pickups are super important to me. These are Bartolini's, I think Spectre's, uh, they're Bartolini's proprietary Spectre pickups. Um, and it's still got the Spectre tone pump in there, so it's still got that like growl that you're used to, but the Bartolini's kind of round out the mid range and make it feel a little bit more warmer, which is awesome because at home I play everything from R&B to soul, or funk, rock, metal, whatever. So having the Bartolini's with the Spectre tone pump gives me a lot of freedom to kind of like tone shape and stuff. Um, as far as like down here, another thing that like is really important to me that I was really particular about, is a pass passive active switch. A lot of basses have it, but it's really important to me for an active bass as hot as a Spectre uh, to have an active passive because some fuzzes react way better to passives. Some uh, like especially digital uh, like modulation stuff, like you'll clip them if it's too hot. Um, and then it just gives me more freedom. Like if I want to do like a Motown thing, it makes way more sense to go passive. Um, and actually, believe it or not, for a gig like this, because the, the active uh, pickups are so fat, it's like kind of too much for the room. So depending on the room, like, you know, Kenny, our sound guy will have me go like active or passive. If I'm giving them too much, like 400 Hertz or something, I'll go passive and it'll just sit in the mix better and it won't overwhelm everything. Um, yeah, it's awesome. A lot of freedom.